Okay, in this lecture, mag-focus naman tayo sa secondary line constants. So, the first and pinaka-importante uh, secondary line constant na meron ng transmission line is called the characteristic impedance or ZC. So, the characteristic impedance is the ratio of the voltage to current along the transmission line. And it is basically constant throughout the transmission line. Ibig sabihin, okay, drawing ako ng transmission line dito, no? Ibig sabihin, kahit saan ka mag-measure along the transmission line, diba, okay, itong portion na to, it is the same characteristic impedance pag nag-measure ka naman dito sa point na to. Okay? So, constant yung value niya along the transmission line. Okay? So, this is the formula for characteristic impedance. Zc is equals to square root of series impedance divided by the shunt admittance. Yung series impedance natin is equals to R, which is the resistance, plus J omega L. Yung L natin dito is the inductance. Inductance. Okay? And yung R natin, ito yung resistance. Okay? So, for the shunt admittance, G is for conductance and C is for capacitance okay yung omega natin dito is the angular frequency which is equals to 2 pi times the operating frequency F0 okay so pag walang sinabi sa problem ang gagamitin yung formula no is square root ng L over C. Kasi normally naman ang transmission na ginagamit sa microwave communication which is in gigahertz. Okay? So, pag ang frequency is in gigahertz or even higher, nawawalan ng effect yung resistance at saka yung conductance natin. Okay? Kaya natitira is yung J omega L at saka yung J omega C. And nagka-cancel yung J omega at saka yung J omega dito sa shunt impedance, ang natitira is yung L over C. Okay? So, for high frequency, ito yung gagamitin yung formula. Okay? But pag uh, sinabi sa problem, uh, low frequency, ito yung gagamitin nyo. Okay? So, for high frequency, ito yung gagamitin nyo. Pag walang sinabi, ito pa rin yung gagamitin nyo. Okay? So, let's answer this sample problem. A 100-foot, approximately 30.5-meter section is measured to determine L and C. So, yung inductance natin and yung capacitance. The section is found to have an inductance of 0.25 millihenries and a capacitance of 1,000 microfarads. Find the characteristic impedance of the line. So, walang sinabi sa problem kung high frequency operation or low frequency operation. Kaya ang gagamitin natin formula for characteristic impedance is square root of L over C. Okay? Ay, by the way, may nalimutan ako, no? Yung L and C and even R at saka G, distributed parameter yan. Ibig sabihin, yung kanilang unit is per unit length of line. No? Depende kung meter or foot. But SI unit yung lagi natin ginagamit. So, pag R, this is measured in ohms per meter. Pag G, this is measured in Siemens per meter. And C is for farad per meter and for inductance, Henry per meter. So, laging may per meter. Okay? So, balik tayo dun sa problem kanina. So, may binigay, kay, may binigay dito ano, na approximately 30.5 meter. Ito yung length ng transmission line. So, ang gagawin natin, yung 0.25 millihenries, 0.25 mili henry i-divide natin ng 30.5 para makuha natin yung distributed parameter para makuha natin yung henry per meter yun lang baka kasi malito kayo so kukunin lang natin yung henry per unit length uh, which is yung meet per meter okay so 0.25 exponent to negative 3 divided by 30.5 meter which is approximately equal to 8.5 9.6 micro henry per meter okay so ito yung ating inductance per unit length next yung capacitance natin ganun din no? 1000 microfarad divided by 30.5 meter so 
So, this is approximately equal to 32.79 micro farad per meter. Okay, and then gamitin natin itong formula natin. Zc is equals to square root of 8.196 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 32.79 times 10 to the negative 6. So, ang sagot natin is 0 0.499 or 0 0.5 ohms. Okay. Next is the attenuation constant. And the formula niya is alpha is equals to R, which is series resistant. Distribu distributed parameter pa rin to, no? Naka per unit length, per meter. Divided by 2 multiplied by the characteristic impedance, Zc. So, lagay ko dito. Zc characteristic impedance Okay and yung unit natin for attenuation constant is nepper per meter Next is phase shift coefficient which is beta is equals to 2 pi over lambda Yung lambda natin dito is the signal wavelength which is equals to c over f Okay yung speed of light natin speed of light divided by hertz frequency or operating frequency okay so in terms of velocity of light beta is equals to omega divided by c yung omega natin is yung angular frequency pa rin kanina which is equals to 2 pi multiplied by the operating frequency okay in terms of permeability naman and permittivity, beta is equals to omega times square root ng mu times epsilon. Yung mu natin is the permeability and yung epsilon natin is the permittivity. Actually, this is a um, general formula for permeability and permittivity. Pag walang binigay sa problem, i-assume natin na yung relative Permittivity natin is 1. So, erasing ko lang na dapat this is mu. Okay, so this is mu r. Mu naught and epsilon naught. Okay, ito yung absolute absolute permeability. So, this is for magnetic field. And this is for electric field. So, lagay ko na lang permittivity. Absolute permittivity. Okay. Sa calculator, I think this is constant 33. And sa permittivity naman is constant 32. Okay. And yung relative permittivity and relative permeability depende siya sa material ng dielectric or sa medium. Okay? Uh, normally, pag air is 1 parehas. Okay? Uh, binibigay, na, binibigay naman sa problem if uh, merong uh, uh, relative uh, permittivity. Okay? So, in terms of velocity of propagation naman, uh, mamaya ako i-define kung ano yung velocity of propagation. No? Beta is equals to omega divided by Vp. In terms of inductance and capacitance, beta is equals to omega times square root ng L over C. Okay? Next, propagation constant. So, in terms of series impedance and shunt admittance, gamma is equals to square root ng series impedance multiplied by the shunt admittance. And for attenuation coefficient and phase shift constant, gamma is equals to alpha plus j beta. Okay? Yung j natin is uh, imaginary number yan. Okay, next is electrical length. So, electrical length is the length of the transmission line relative to the length of the wave propagating down the line. 
So, halimbawa, ito yung transmission line natin. And ito yung ating RF signal na nagpo-propagate down the transmission line. Yung electrical length is the length of the transmission line na equal sa wavelength ng RF signal natin. Okay? So, for degrees, yung formula for electrical length is 360 degrees multiplied by L. Yung L natin is the total length. of the trans line or transmission line okay and yung lambda natin is ganun pa rin yung formula niya no? C over operating frequency okay so for radians naman omega which is equals to 2 pi multiplied by the operating frequency multiplied by the total length of the transmission line divided by lambda okay so, let's answer a sample problem. A signal will undergo a phase shift of how many radians per meter when propagating on a 25 meter coaxial cable with a velocity of 0.66c. You see natin dito is the speed of light, no? And operating at 5 megahertz. Also compute for the total phase delay in degrees. So, yung phase delay natin is parehas lang ng phase shift, no? Okay, formula natin for phase shift coefficient or phase shift constant is in terms of velocity of propagation kasi may binigay na 0.66c. Yun yung velocity ng RF signal natin na nagta-travel down the transmission line. So yung gagamitin natin formula is omega over Vp. So beta in radians is equals to omega over Vp. So, yung omega natin is 2 pi multiplied by the operating frequency 5 times 10 to the positive 6 hertz divided by 0 0.66 multiplied by the speed of light 3 times 10 to the positive 8 meter per second. So, equals to 0.16 okay. radians per meter so pinapakompute din in degrees so madali lang no? so multiply lang natin to ng pi or 180 degrees over pi okay. so ito ay naka radians ito so, numerator is naka-degrees naman. So, maka-cancel yung unit ng radians. Ngayon, ang sagot natin is 28.56 degrees per meter. Okay. So, other transmission line parameters is the velocity of propagation which is equals to 1 over square root of LC. So, baka yung iba sa inyo malito, no? So, 1 over square root of LC yan. And yung LC natin is again distributed parameter. So, naka per unit lang yan. So, inductance per meter or Henry per meter. And yung isa is Farad per meter. Okay? So, for velocity factor in terms of light velocity and velocity of propagation, yung formula natin is Vf is equal to Vp over speed of light. Okay? In terms of relative permittivity or dielectric constant, Vf is equal to 1 over square root ng relative permittivity. And for refractive index, velocity factor is equal to 1 over n. 